cargo tank with X35 monitor comes standard with tank optimizer. It optimizes the performance and filling of your tank. Where do we find the tank optimizer? Within the calibration button, this wrench over here, you can slide this around if you want, but as you see, it's in the configurator. We enter multi-tank calibration and then tank optimizer. Once we enter the tank optimizer, now we come to this screen. Step one, this is our tank optimizer wizard. So we have to add a product. And it says, please select. Let's say we're going to see canola today. And we know we want to do that at a fixed 4.7 pounds per acre. We're not going to assign our canola to multiple meters because we have a saddle tank on our tank. That would be our tank five. And we want to put our canola in that tank. We're not going to split the rate. And add another product. Please select. We're going to take our canola MRB blend. So we've got a special fertilizer blend to go down our mid row banders. We'll select it. Today we're going to put that down at 200 pounds per acre. We can let it go to multiple meters. We can pick what tank we have it in, but we're going to let it go to multiple meters. Now we can choose to split the rate. That means that this 200 pounds will be divided by the percentage of the size of the two different tanks you may be using. Or if we leave it at not splitting the rate, what that means is it'll meter out at 200 pounds an acre till that tank is empty. And then it'll go to the next tank and meter it out till it's empty. The most efficient way is to have them both meter out at the appropriate ratio. So we'll set it up like that today. Add another product. This is our third and final product and we have five tanks available. So we got a special fertilizer blend to go down with a seed. And today we're going to put 80 pounds of that blend. So that's going down with our seed. We're assigning it to multiple meters if it chooses, and we're going to let it split the rate. So these are the three products we're going to do and the three rates we want to end up with. Now the yellow arrow comes up. We'll advance the wizard. It says our tank five is set up for canola at 4.7 pounds. And we have 427.8 acres available in that tank. That's based on the calibration factor for that product. So of course you want to make sure your product has been calibrated. We have tank one is in the MRB at 89.5 pounds. And tank four is also going to the MRB at 71.4 pounds for a combined couple hundred pounds of product. We have our flex tank and tank three running into tank two and we're doing that 76.6 or close to that 80 pounds of product. And it says we have to fill that tank at 212.3 acres. The other tanks at 230 and this one at 427. The red one is the first fill. So that would be scenario A. We have scenario B. Just moves the flex over to tank one. Change the rate so these two empty roughly the same time. And it shows our first fill at 213.1 acres. Advance the wizard shows us another option. First fill at 212.3, so similar, just a different way to fill it. So on, so forth, through all of the various options. When you have all five metering augers and are only metering three products, it usually gives you quite a few different choices. It usually goes to the first one is one of the most efficient ways to run your tank. We'll accept that, hit the check mark, and ask if you want to apply it. Yes, we will today. We'll accept this. And now all of our products at the individual rates are in the appropriate tanks. So 
So everything meters out at the acres that it showed on that screen. A lot of customers, once they get comfortable with the optimizer, they use this as a preferred method to enter the products in the individual tanks, rather than going into the product selector for each tank. 